Good afternoon, guys. Just about ready. Top flight sentry is in. Gates back and away they go. They are racing. Eccentric was very slowly away. Also very tardy from the gates, was not afraid. Those comments don't apply to Mukafar though, who came out with the old running shoes on. An engineer who should go put good pace at Wolverhampton last time out is also spearing forward from a wide draw. Then morning suit the maroon jacket, followed then by the green of top flight sentry. Towards that one's outside is Louis Barta. Then the two-tone blue of Gultari with Hayley Turner aboard and then towards the outside, completely random. Then master Tony Conte Partiro still towards the rear of the field. Field. Not afraid after that slow start is still towards the rear of the field as well. Eccentric just about the back marker and spirited lad sees plenty of them as well. Swinging for home, three furlongs left to go. And it's Mukafar that leads for Jim Crowley. Three or four lengths to the good over Engineer and Ross Orion in second. They're well on from morning suit. Trying to stay on is Louis Barta as they come to the cutaway and go inside the final quarter of a mile. Mukafar, though, absolutely lightning out the gates and is still three or four lengths to the good here as they go towards the closing stages. Mukafar by about four or five to Engineer who's just lugging a little bit uh, in the closing stages. Stages. The rest haven't really got involved. Racing up towards the line. Mukafar is getting a little bit tied out in front now. But this race was one a long way out. Mukafar, the easy scorer to engineer in second. In third was Louis Barta. Morning suit has held on for fourth. Ahead of a fast finishing and eye-catching, not afraid. A blistering performance there from Mukafar, who absolutely bolts in. Went very quick from the outset. Looked as though he'd gone too fast, but... Uh, not a bit of it. The 74 favourite has absolutely trounced them and looks a very smart type in the making for Kevin Philippot of Foy and Jim Crowley from those Shadwell silks too. Seen them all off with a plum there. Engineer had every chance, Martin, but couldn't quite get there or get anywhere near, really. There was nothing else in it, was there? This horse was clearly better than the rest. We see how quickly out of the gate he was and Jim didn't mess about. He actually squeezed him up and got him travelling in front and then he actually took a right hold. He was going too quick, really, to be winning. And I think that shows that he's pretty decent. You see Jim sat against him. Um, Ross Orion, an engineer, was not giving him any rope, but he just couldn't go with him from halfway. I mean, here now, the horse has accelerated. Jim doesn't want to be going this fast. Yeah. The horse has took off. He's clearly a very good sprinter. Yeah, to keep going like that as well. And also, Rach, he's taken a while to be pulled up as well. Yeah, exactly. That was the, that, that's what I like to see, is when Jim didn't immediately just grab, grab at him when they crossed the line, he just sort of let him naturally do it. But the horse just kept latching on and... I mean, this is the sort of performance you want to see for a, a subsequent very, very good sprinter. You can go hard early and just still maintain. And he's, he's officially won by three and a half lengths. Yes, he's given a, he's getting seven pounds from the runner-up. But, but uh, Ross Orion got into engineer a little bit. It wasn't like they just went, we're not going to catch you, don't worry. He got a couple of reminders. Louis Bartas for Ali Sangster, the best of the debutants, but the really, really fast finishing. I think he finished fifth in the end. Not afraid, absolutely fell out of the gates. Only had one beat with two furlongs to go and comes flying late, not being asked. So just watch out for Not Afraid next time. He's He's got a bit of an engine if he can mentally put it together. Yeah, we can see that from the head on now, Martin. The pink cap towards the rear at the moment with the white and blue silks makes up a fair bit of late ground in the closing stages. Yeah, I'm sure Rafe will be delighted with Not Afraid's run. Drawn 11 and very green, but stayed on well in, in what is going to end up looking like a smart race, I think. This winner, I thought he'd gone too fast. When we got to the intersection, I thought, Jim's got, he's on fresh air, he's got nothing in the tank. To be fair, Jim, the best bit of the race was the middle where he sat still mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and he waited and waited. You see Jim glance to his left in a minute, look. He's thinking, he's thinking horses are going to be on his tail, but this horse goes again. He's pretty yeah. smart. He must be. He's gone five furlong pace in the early part of the race, but has kept going. Listen, you know, the stable obviously thought a lot of this horse on debut. He ran on very soft ground at Yarmouth. And you know what? The, 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 the best thing about the teamwork with Kevin Philippard de Foy was his jockey on the day, Jack Mitchell. He gave this horse not an easy time, but he realised he was hating the ground. And it was hands and heels stuff. He nurtured him through his debut run at Yarmouth. And this is, um, this is how you're awarded when they come back next time. What a smart horse. Yeah, could well be. I think, Rach, we all believe that the second engineer is himself going to make into a pretty yeah. useful type. So to be put in this place like that suggests the winner could be quite something. Particularly as we found a new dimension to him. Second time out, drawn one, probably chanced their arm a little bit that we have to, we do have to just go. And... Um, that he did, and like Martin said, everything through it, he was a bit push button. Take a pull, go, and then when he switched his leads again with about a half furlong to go, he just pulled out another length. I'm hearing the time was exactly the Racing Post standard time. So there you go. First race won by Mukafar. 
Really good performance there. I think we might well have seen a smart type. We've got plenty of novice races left to come on the card, but it's quite possible we've seen the smartest horse of them all in the very first race. Nukafa wins as he likes, showed so much speed there and exuberance too. I feel like he's got plenty of talent, this horse. He has. Um, look, he's a, he's a lovely individual. He's a good stallion. Uh, he's got a lot of natural speed about him. He was drawn one and he absolutely hit the lids fantastically. And he probably was over racing a little bit, but um, you know, I always felt like he was doing it within himself. He got a bit lonely in front, but like I said, it was a good performance. It felt like it to me anyway. Yeah, do you think at one stage you were going too fast? You thought maybe he's going to tread water in the closing stages? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't have gone any slower if I wanted to. Um, he was just, he was taking me, but I never really felt that we were going too quick. And like I said, he sort of had them killed at halfway, really. I get the feeling he's always been quite highly regarded. He went off favourite on his debut, of course, and was favourite again tonight. Yeah, obviously, look, he, he, he's a top-of-the-ground horse. Um, he ran an encouraging race first time out. Um, probably wasn't um, as ready as we would have liked him that day, but like I said, he's come forward for that run. And in hindsight, it was a lovely first run, and he's, he's backed it up tonight. Yeah, he has. Just wanted to ask you about your ride in the third race. Philly's novice, Mukina, daughter of Frankel, lovely pedigree. Great pedigree. Uh, like you say, don't know, it's her first day at school today. She's drawn out wide a little bit. But, um, you know, we'd be hopeful of a pleasing run from her. Great stuff, well, great start. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.